Come to Africa to try to lifestyle by RNA. In today's video, I'm going to teach you all how to prepare a very simple jollof rice. First of all, your oil has to be on fire and has to fry for a while before you put in your sliced onion. Also, you make sure the fire is very low so your um, food doesn't burn. So make sure you control the fire. Also, um, I've already sliced my sausage and my onion and if you missed my video on how i prepare my natural sauce kindly check my previous video you know how i prepare my traditional um sauce which is the pepper that i used for the, my stew the next step is that you put in your sliced sausage in the saucepan allow it to fry for like um two to three minutes before you put in your next ingredients which i'm about to say yeah so but at the moment um as you can see i poured all the sliced sausage in the saucepan and stirred for it to consume the oil that was in the saucepan and later i leave it for a while but if you don't know loose count so two to three minutes is okay and then you pour in your traditional sauce the traditional sauce i've done so many videos on how i do it ginger garlic pepper onion please go back to my previous food recipe and know how i do the traditional sauce and it's very good so that one you use it to steam your sausage and then i'm preparing a beef um corned beef jollof rice plus sausage so that is why i'm using beef corned beef so whatever meat you want to use for your jollof rice you use it did i say fried rice sorry <laughs> because did i prepare fried rice so i'm saying fried rice anyway so i I blended my tomatoes so the tomatoes I just used two tomatoes so depending on how um, reddish you want it to your jollof rice right to look like you increase your tomatoes and also I used the tin tomatoes too but this one I used all the medium size and since I was using my other hand to video while I was preparing I had to um, pause it and remove it bit by bit and then when you do that you stir for a while before you add water if i'm going to video like 30 minutes of it the video is going to be boring so i'm telling you when you see the next step leave it on the fire for a while please leave it on the fire for a while yes so you leave it for this stage you leave it on fire when you put in the uh, tea tomatoes you leave it on fire for like um 20 minutes yes but depending on how on on how high your gas is please if it's very low leave it for 20 if it's very high 10 minutes is okay and then you put in the remaining um beef in it and then you stir and leave it for a while i'm not a fan of cube so most of the time if you've studied my food recipe i don't use all the full cube i cut half of it but the cube is optional because of the traditional sauce that I did to steam um the the, the what the sausage for the, for the food so it's optional but i still go in for it though and then you put it you cover it and then you make sure your rice too is ready so the rice depend on the people that are eating it if it's more it means the rice will be more but my a lot um a lot, a lot of people were not going to eat it because you have few in the house at that moment so just a few cups of rice that i poured in the bowl and i poured it back in the in the sauce pan and then i stirred i didn't just pour water directly i stirred made sure every rice is turned to the stew is mixed well with the stew and then i left it for like five minutes before i came to stay again and then i poured my cup of water in it according to the cups of my rice and if it's jollof rice you don't use a lot of water otherwise it become too hard but since my i wanted it to be soft i used one cup of water and half and afterwards i stayed and i um picked a just a little of salt in it if you have that like a lot of salt you put a lot but make sure it's not too much that someone can eat yes and then you leave it you cover it and leave it for um 20 minutes 
one thing about jollof rice is that if you don't have time you can't cook jollof rice because you have to come back and be stirring it to make sure every part is cooked so as you can see i'm coming to leave it down for a while for like 20 to 30 minutes before i come back to stay if your gas is high please don't wait for 20 to 30 minutes come come back like 10 to 15 minutes to come and stay your food otherwise your food will be so here i came back after 20, 20 minutes yes instead of 30 minutes it was the second round i came after 30 minutes so here i came to stay a bit from um by bringing the downwards to the airport <laughs> i don't know but you can see what i'm doing guys and then i leave it down for a while and i close it and i come in back after 30 minutes to check on the rice jello rice needs time yes and it doesn't need a lot of uh, fire if you use a lot of fire to, to cook you when you're eating you'll be feeling the smoke and the um jello rice so please when you're cooking jello rice be careful of your of your fire thank you also so you begin to stare bit by bit because i was using the other hand to video i had to take my time to stare so the phone doesn't fall from my hand i pray for a camera soon <laughs> yes i pray for a camera soon for now it's my phone yeah so if one secret too is that if you don't want to add extra water to your rice any type of rice use a plain um, rubber to cover it for for the heat to make the rice soft if you don't want to add extra water to make it too soft so the rubber makes it the rice very soft it gives it adds extra heat to the rice that is the traditional secret to it i'm telling you guys if you're watching this video yeah privileged to know <laughs> if you already know too that's fine it means i'm not lying but if the rice is too hard that one you can sprinkle water and then add the rubber to it later on so now i stay again make sure everywhere it's cooked there is not half cooked and half and half cooked like the way when you're eating jollof rice elsewhere half is cooked half is not cooked please when you keep stirring and make sure everywhere is um done when you when the thing is finally done you could feel that everywhere it's cooked and i must say i really enjoy the food and i believe that if you follow my method you are also going to enjoy the food so this is the last thing that i do whenever i'm cooking so the last chopped of onions i added to the rice but with this one i sprinkle it just to make it spicy and yummy and enticing for someone who doesn't like food to also eat whenever he or she sees it but in this case i'm not going to add the rubber back again to the food you know why because it will make my onion too soft but i want my onion to be a bit soft a bit hard so i'm going to just cover it and leave it on fire for a while which is like 60 seconds and then after i come back open it's done and the next thing is that i off my gas i present to you your delicious jollof rice so this is my ghana jollof <laughs> ghana jollof is so yummy if you're not in ghana you can still do this and also enjoy my food recipe of how i prepare my beef sausage jollof rice thank you once again if you're new please do want to subscribe if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this video to your loved ones and also if you're new on this channel subscribe and you're once again welcome to the channel thank you bye till i see you all in my next video bye bye peace